everyone thank you so much for joining me today on national strawberry day now i don't know if you can tell but i am not in maryland where i usually film these things but i'm in south florida where strawberries can grow almost all year round except during the summer when it's a little too hot now did i come to south florida just for national strawberry day that's up for debate but let's get to strawberry picking now, I don't know about you, but I was really perplexed to learn that National Strawberry Day is February 27th, because um, in Maryland, it's still really cold, and spring is a distant thought, and um, strawberries are a few months away. So it's, it seemed really perplexing to me. So, um, but I learned that this time of year is actually perfect strawberry growing season in states like Florida and California because strawberries love to grow in temperatures around 55 to 78 degrees. And if you've ever been in South Florida during the winter, those are exactly what the temperatures are like. So a few things that uh, affect a strawberry's uh, flavor are of course its um, ripeness, its uh, variety, the weather it grows in, um, all those can affect the soil, all those can affect the way a strawberry tastes. Now the best strawberries to, the w best way to get your strawberries is to pick them yourself because in a store, when you get them from the store, they're actually harvested a few days before they're actually ripe, totally ripe. So if you have the ability to go to a U-Pick farm yourself and pick them when they're nice and ripe and juicy off the plant yourself, that is the best. Um, I know for you guys in Maryland, that's a few months away, but there's light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> um, so uh, let's see, I have a few strawberries. I was here earlier picking them. Um, so we have a few strawberries in this bucket and um, I think we'll pick some more, but let's go, go ahead and make our strawberry dish. Okay, hi everyone. Now that I have magically teleported and my hair is up, we are going to make our strawberry dish. So what we're making today is a strawberry field salad. So make sure you have some spinach. I'm gonna put a few handfuls of spinach into this nice big bowl. Lots of spinach. And of course we're gonna have the strawberries that we picked, uh, all nicely diced up with how pretty they look. Um, so we're going to put, that's about two cups, we're going to put that in there, and <clears throat> then we're going to have about half an onion chopped, red onion, there we go, and then we have, I'm going to be using feta cheese, but you can go ahead and use goat cheese, it's up to your preference, whatever you like, um, goat cheese is super creamy, but feta cheese is also good. That's just what you have on hand. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna mix this up with my lovely red tongs. A little messy, but you know it's gonna be good. Okay, now that it's mixed up a little, wow, this just makes me feel like it's summertime because it's so colorful and it looks so tasty. Okay, so that's mixed up. And then I'm gonna add some chopped almonds just on top. You can add slivered almonds if you have those on hand, and also some cranberries. Uh, ooh, we have some leaves. <laughs> We're gonna add some of those cranberries, and this is just a great side dish. So I'm gonna put that on the side right now. So this is a great side dish um, if you want, if it's barbecue time and you want a tasty salad to eat with your barbecue, or just with dinner on a usual weekday night. So uh, for our dressing, our dressing is super easy and super tasty. So we're going to be adding about a cup of strawberries. Now this is easier if you have a blender or a food processor, but I don't. So I'm going to be using my immersion blender and that's why it's going into my lovely Bloom Where You're Planted cup. So our strawberries, we're going to be adding about two tablespoons of honey. Put that in there. Now strawberries are great for a number of reasons. Not only do they taste great, uh, but they also are of course high in antioxidants. We're gonna be adding two tablespoons of olive oil. Let's see. 
vitamin C, strawberries have vitamin C, and also um, potassium, which is great for helping to regulate your blood, blood uh, pressure. So, um, now we're gonna add two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Put that there. And finally, we're gonna be adding about a quarter, oops, about a quarter teaspoon of pepper. It's about a quarter, put that, the excess in there. And then about a quarter teaspoon, yeah, of salt. So that's what we need for our dressing. I'm gonna put this to the side so I don't spill that. And then we're going to um, <clears throat> use my immersion blender. So let's see how this goes. Put that in there. Oh yeah. Going great. Okay, so look at that lovely dressing. How, much, how well you can see it. That lovely strawberry vinaigrette. So now the last step, actually the last step is to enjoy it. So the second to last step is to, you can either pour it on top of your salad now or pour it into a serving dish, I'm making a big mess. So I'm gonna put a little bit on it now and maybe put the rest in a serving dish. It's funny how messy it can get once you start assembling a salad. Um, and there we go. That is our lovely strawberry field salad for National Strawberry Day. All the strawberry goodness. And strawberries are also great because, especially if you're trying to watch your blood sugar, they don't have a, a very high carb, uh, total carb amount. So if you're trying to enjoy a fruit or something a little more sweet, instead of and trying to not raise your blood sugar too much strawberries are a great fruit berry to to enjoy but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and plate this and enjoy this for national strawberry day uh thanks for joining me guys and i hope you have a good rest of your day today happy cooking <laughs>